So I uncovered these panels of Lexan when I was cleaning out my shop. They're left over from a job I did 10 years ago. I had forgotten all about them, but they're perfect for putting a window into my shop. Gotta have more light. The old fiberglass panels are shot. They're not letting light in. And with filming now in this old building, I've just gotta have better light and these panels will do it. I'm cutting this opening with the plasma cutter. It's a hypertherm. I've had it for a couple of years. I just love it. A plasma cutter is a magic, magic improvement to a fabricator's tool tool chest. It uses a very intense arc, a plasma arc, and compressed air to cut anything that will conduct electricity, including corrugated metal. Now I thought about using a skill saw, I thought about using a, an angle head grinder with a cutoff wheel, and then I remembered I had the plasma cutter and I stopped thinking about any other process. The really magic aspect of plasma cutters is the heat is so localized. As soon as you're done cutting, you can bend over and pick up the piece. It does not distort sheet metal because this siding is somewhat thicker than a contemporary pole barn would get. This siding's probably 60 years old, heavy, hard. The plasma cutter is absolutely the way to go. It's something that everyone needs to have in their shop. Lexan is something that has only been available for, I don't know, maybe 10 years for uses in the construction industry. Before that, and still, it's used for the cockpits on airplanes. It's so strong and so clear, you just can't believe it. Almost all the light passes through a Lexan panel, but you almost can't break it with a hammer. It's something that doesn't care how long it's out in the ultraviolet radiation of the sun. It stays clear. There's nothing like it, and it's very secure. It almost has to be unfastened to be um, taken off the building. You just can't tear it loose, which is something that was important to me, because the last thing I would want would be for some joker to get into my shop and throw my 448-pound anvil over his shoulder and climb out through a window because he could break the glass. Walking into my friends at the Steel Outlet, which is a fabrication and iron supply, metal supply shop just really across the street from where I live. My friend Mike Smith runs this shop. Say hi, Mike. Hi. Hi. This is my friend Johannes. He's visiting from Germany. Hi. He's coming over here to see how these radical redneck Americans do these kinds of things. Okay, right. Mike, tell us about your machine. What kind of a machine is this and what are we going to do with it? All right, so this is a uh Basically just a plasma cam. It started out as a four foot by four foot table. We converted it into a five foot by ten foot um, with an adjustable water table so we can raise up the water level, submerge cut, do a lot of really neat things with it. Uh, we run a Hypertherm Power Max 85 with a machine torch. Um, yeah, right now we're going to cut some quarter inch pickle and oil A36 clay with it. We're going to cut out your logo and make some sparks. And how fast will this be feeding? Uh, we're going to feed it about 120. I might bump it up to 130, depending on how things go. Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, we're using a used tip, so it's nothing, you know, super pristine, but it sure. should be pretty darn good. Yeah, it looks like a kind of supernatural thing that happens in the past of the earth, in the fire. There's the steam, the water, not a volcano, but... Something yeah. elemental. Elemental, yes. that's the yeah. word. Yeah.
you're watching me paint something, you may never see it again. I'm a lousy painter. I don't even pretend to be a painter, but I figured, heck, it's a sign into my own shop. Certainly nobody's going to complain. So I put on one coat of a fast dry automotive primer, two coats of Rust-Oleum Black, and then I'm using uh, a, a sign painter's paint, actually, to paint the front surface of the sign. I thought, man, if I can't just at least get a coat on a smooth piece of quarter inch steel with defined edges in a presentable way, I'm really, really pretty lame. But as it turns out, I think it's going to be fine. It looks good from the road. The project's done. I think it sort of adds to the appearance of my shop. Nobody's ever done anything just motivated by love for this old building in a long time. This was a fun project. Thanks for watching.